folks. What are we doing today, Sadie? Today we are doing a new gun review. New gun review? Are you up for this? Hmm? Let's tell them what we got. What we've got. This is safe. What we've got, Sadie, is a CZ P07 and OD Green CZ USA, Kansas City, Kansas. Good stuff, right? You guys get a look at that. 15 round mag, come with two 15 round mags. You can get a, a base plate that'll give you two extra, so you get 17. Um, you can obviously get the Urban Gray with the suppressor barrel and the suppressor sights. I opted not to get that. I wanted the OD Green, and this is going to be a EDC gun, everyday carry gun. I did not want all that extra fancy stuff. I didn't want the suppressor barrel sticking out. I know it's not sticking out much. I didn't want the night sights sticking up a little bit higher. I wanted as minimal as I wanted, as I could get. All right. So this is what we are shooting today. I've already shot it once last weekend. After I step on my stuff, last weekend shot this. Um, about 25 rounds. And I thought it shot very well. So we're going to do another shoot and see how it does today. Okay? Without further ado, we're setting up at 7 yards, just like we did my last shooting video. We set up at 7 yards. I said that was going to be the standard. So we're going to keep with that. I know that's not very far. Uh, we may stretch it out a little bit with this firearm. See what we can do with it. It shoots very well. Okay. Okay. I've got a alien gear paddle paddle holster. Shape shifter paddle holster. I got the uh, big alien gear shape shifter holster set. But that's for another video. Uh, today we're just doing the firearm. All right, what are we shooting today? We are shooting Winchester USA Forged Steel Shell Case FMJ Brass Jacketed Lead Core 9mm Luger 115 grain. Uh, this is what I shot last weekend. Just some cheap old ammo for shooting, practice shooting. Uh, shoots very well so far out of this firearm. All right, let's begin. All right, here's how I'm gonna be doing this. We're gonna be doing, uh, starting off, we're just gonna do three rounds at a time. Load three rounds. Right now I'm gonna shoot at the brown cardboard. I'm gonna shoot at the, uh, I'm gonna shoot at the far left corner. Three steady, regular shots. I'm going to pull the hammer back on all these. Three easy shots. Of course, if I left the hammer forward, that first shot would be a little harder to trigger pull. So, we all know that. I'm going to do three easy trigger pulls, all right? Safety first. Point in a safe direction. Finger off the trigger till we're ready to shoot. Etc., etc. You know the rules. Don't shoot until you're prepared to shoot. Bring her off the trigger. Don't shoot anything you're not willing to destroy. Make sure nobody's in front of you. Let's do this. Sadie's over here. Let's 
seven yards. All right, so I lied. I shot at the middle one. That's what we're looking at. Let's see if I can do all this. One, two, and three. So, decent little grouping there. A little bit low, not too bad. Okay. Okay. Let's do one more. Actually, let's do for some steel. I'm going to do four shots at the steel plates there. Four by four plates. At seven yards. And then we'll probably move it out. Okay? Okay. Alright, so I went ahead and moved the target. Now the total distance is 15 yards. I'm going to shoot for that metal circle again. Okay? 15 yards. All right, there you are, 15 yards. Let's scoot it back some more. Actually, let's shoot the, let's do four shots at the steel plates. All right, folks, I stretch this out to 25 yards. Three shots at the metal circle. Let's see how she does. This is as far as we're going today. 25 yards, three shots, metal circle. All right, here's what we got. 25 yards. One, two, and then I pulled one high. Yeah, I'll take it. Not a bad little shooter. We're gonna shoot at the four, at the steel plates. Uh, at 15 yards, I shot three of them. Let's see if we can even get one at 25 yards.
All right, two full jugs and one half jug. Let's see how many shots it takes us to get these at 25 yards. All right, this is last but not least. I'm gonna do five shots on target as fast as I can. This here is only maybe, I don't know, this may be four or five yards. Five shots, that's all I got left. As fast as I can, not really hardcore aiming, just fast shooting. Let's see what we can do. Go. Let's see if we got all five shots on there. Target was coming fast. Hot and heavy. He was gonna get me. One. Two, three, four, five. I think he's dead. All right. Good day of shooting. Let's take it inside. Folks, it is hot out there. I'm glad I'm done with that. It was fun shooting, but miserable hot. Mmm. All right, initial reviews, initial reviews, CZP07, All right, this has got a, the ability to have a safety, ambidextrous safety, or decocker on it. I've got it set up for decocker. All right. It's got a slide release right here. Magazine release right here. Uh, I do not remember if the magazine release is interchangeable where you can put it on the other side. It has tritium night sights. I'll try to get a video, a little short clip for that. Come stock with tritium night sights. As I said, the decocker. Okay, so it's got a heavy, heavy pull without it hammer cock back. Hammer cock back, gonna be uh, easy trigger pull. All right. All right, so what are my impressions? This right here is a fantastic firearm. This is maybe the best carry gun I've ever had. Okay, I've had a few. I like this the best. Uh, I've just been carrying it a little bit. Like I said, I got the alien gear set up. Uh, I'll, that'll be another video. This is a medium sized firearm. It is fairly heavy for a concealed carry. You can carry, there's people that carry full size Berettas and 911s, but uh, 
this is 15 plus 1. Uh, so it, it takes a little bit used to get to carrying it if you're carrying like a Ruger LC9S or a Glock 43. This is definitely going to be more gun. This also shoots better. Okay, so this is this is comparable to the Glock 19 in size and capacity. Um, when I got this, I was kind of kind of thinking either this or the Glock 19 Gen 5 MOS, where you could put an RMR up top, but. Uh, Ultimately, I went with this. I've never actually remember seeing this one of these in a store. Never picked one up. Never shot one. I just bought it. I bought it through Impact Guns, and they shipped it to a local FFL dealer, and I picked it up there. So I bought it from Impact Guns on uh, I think Wednesday before July 4th, so the July 4th thing kind of threw it off. I ended up getting it Tuesday the next day, picking it up from my FFL guy, Wild Man. Um, I think if it wasn't for the 4th of July weekend, that probably would have cut three days off. I might have been able to get this in three days, okay? So, I love this thing. This thing's sweet. It's got the inside... Uh, slide rise inside the frame. Let's see if I can get that instead of the normal where the slide rides outside of the frame. Okay, so it's got a low bore axis. Uh, supposedly improves recoil. Recoil on this thing is it's it's pretty smooth. Uh, pleasure to shoot. Definitely a pleasure to shoot. I've got the small back strap on it. Uh, fits my hand very well. I like that. Okay. Glocks for me just feel a little bit chunkier for me. Of course I haven't had one that had the back straps on it. Uh, con wise the only con that I have on this firearm for me is this slide release. With this decocker coming all the way up here, this slide release is hard to get to. Okay? My thumb does not quite reach it. Okay, so there's the decock. And here's the slide release. I cannot reach that slide release. In order for me to reach that slide release, I have to kind of tilt the gun over and then even then it's hard to get to. Side release is tough. Other than that, this firearm is very nice. So if you're thinking about one, I would highly, highly suggest picking one up. This is a nice shooting, in my opinion, nice looking. This is a nice firearm. CZP07 OD Green. Very nice.